The winds also caused damage to many homes and buildings. One home in Jackson was damaged after a tree fell on it. Luckily, no one was injured. Fox 47's Christopher Lane caught up with that homeowner who tells us what happened. I was uh, just checking a couple of uh, emails and text messages on my phone and sitting in bed for a little bit and uh, heard uh, the trees, basically the branches start to brush against the house. And I, of course, once I heard that, I knew I was like, oh, that tree's coming down. It wasn't the best way to start the morning for Dewan Bradshaw as wind knocked a tree onto his house, but he was still in good spirits. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I mean, what else can you do? He's already getting the ball rolling on taking the tree down and fixing the house. But Bradshaw tells me he wasn't surprised the tree fell over. It's a big tree, you know, and uh, like where it's sitting, um, like it, it appeared to be leaning and, you know, me and my neighbors were kind of talking about it, kind of joking about it one day. It's like, oh man, if that thing goes, it's going to hit us both. And that's exactly what it did. With the strong winds taking down massive trees like this one, power lines stand no chance. That's why Terry Didos of Consumers Energy tells me that he's been seeing power outages skyrocket across mid-Michigan. What you see mainly are outages related to trees that come into the uh, wires that are blown to, into the wires. Dito says outages were climbing nearly by the minute, but tells me once the wind dies down, power should be restored quickly. Every storm is different. The benefit here is once these high winds pass, that we should have near ideal conditions for the crews to be out working in to be able to get customers restored. And although Bradshaw isn't all that upset now, he knows reality will soon set in. It'll probably hit me tonight, you know, and uh, when we're sitting in a hotel room. In Jackson, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News.